Hi there, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori, Creativity and the Meaning of Life. I'd like to start, first of all, with a a prayer of affirmation. Where is the wise person? Where is the scholar? Where is the disputer of this age? O God, have you not made foolish the wisdom of this world? But to those whom you've called, both Jew and Greeks, Christ is your power and your wisdom. 1 Corinthians 1, 20, 24. If I think I am somebody when I am nobody, I am fooling myself. Galatians 6, 3. Here are the words from Matthew 9, 1 through 17. Jesus stepped into a boat, crossed over, and came to his own town. Some men brought to him a paralytic lying on a mat. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son. Your sins are forgiven. At this, some of the teachers of the law said to themselves, This fellow is blaspheming. Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your heart? Which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven? or to say, get up and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, get up, take your mat, and go home. When the crowd saw this, they were filled with awe, and they praised God, who had given such authority to men. As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told them. And Matthew got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When a Pharisee saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Then John's disciples came and asked him, How is it that we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered, How can the guests of the bridegroom mourn while he is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then they will fast. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment for the patch will pull away from the garment, making new wine, making the tear worse. Neither do men pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst, the wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. I would like for you to take some time over the next day or two and re-listen to the passage that I just read. The part of the scripture that I want you to think about as you're going through is 
No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch will pull away from the garment, making the tear worse. Neither do men pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst, the, the wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. And here's the prayer I want to leave you with as you allow your heart to be opened to what God would like to speak to you. It's from Ephesians 3, 20 through 21. You, you are able to do immeasurably more than all that we ask or think. You are able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or think, O God, according to your power that is in work within us. To you be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. That is from the Bible, friends. That you are able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or think. According to God's power that is at work within us. Thank you.